Mommy, we're so early. We still have three minutes left before our science class starts. Great. I love looking around our science lab. Let's go. Okay. Slow down, bug. We're not allowed to run around in the lab. Wow, look at all these science experiments. Ew, I hate spiders. Don't worry about it, it's just fake spider. Come on, take a look at this, it's so cool! Wow! Oh my gosh, is that a brain? I think so. Ew! I wonder what all these solutions are for. Yuck! Hey, don't touch that! Ow! What are you doing? Don't touch! Oh, oh, okay, okay. I won't touch. Whoa, cool! A rocket out of styrofoam! No, 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 no! Don't touch that! Please, can I just try you pushing the button? You can't touch anything! The teacher might... Ah! with experiments. Hmm. Okay class, let's start. Today, I'll be grading your science experiments. Please bring it out and put it on your table. You go first, Bug. Can you tell us about your project? This is a glow-in-the-dark frog with glowing eggs. I made this by painting a plastic toy frog with glow-in-the-dark paint. As for the eggs, these are just water beads. I added glow-in-the-dark powder in a cup of water before adding the water beads. After a few hours, I get glowing water beads which looks like frog eggs at glow. Wow, what a beautiful science project and very well presented. Do you know that there's some truth in that project? Here's an interesting fact about frogs and amphibians that you probably don't know. All of them can actually glow in the dark. Scientists tested and concluded that amphibian species under UV light have the ability to re-emit the light they absorbed at another wavelength, a process known as biofluorescence. Good job, Bug! You got an A+. Oh yes, I got an A+. Now it's your turn, Kali. Let's see what you have. I made an elevator toy using hydraulic system. Here, let me demonstrate. The system I used are these two syringes. One is filled with water. By applying pressure on one part of the system, the force is transmitted through the liquid to make another part of the system to move. That's how my elevator moved up and down. Very well presented, Kali. Hydraulic systems use liquid to make something move. They are used for all sorts of jobs, from lifting to cutting to digging. But of course, most real machines and equipment don't use water. Rather, they use a very thick fuel oil. Good job, Kali. You got an A+. Yay, my hard work paid off. Great job, Kali. Can you please teach me how to make that? It's very easy. All you need are two syringes and a shoebox. Stick one syringe on the shoebox with a putty or clay.
Get a small box as your elevator. Draw the shape of your small box just above the syringe, one on top of another. Then draw a smaller box inside each box. Cut out the smaller box. Next, get your elevator box and stick it on top of your syringe. Now get another syringe and fill it up with water. Connect one end of your tube on the syringe and the other end on the other one. Now your hydraulic system is done. All you need is to decorate your building and add your toy doll. Callie, check out my hair! What about your hair? I got candy! Yummy! What? You hid candies in your hair? This is a genius. Give me some. Hey, be quiet. Teacher might see us. There's more on the other side. Both of you are going to detention after class.